What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York. Today we're something, doing something very, very, very different. Something first time on my channel, but I've seen other channels in other genres on YouTube do this. Uh, not so much in reaction so much, but I've seen it in other like, say for example, finance or guitar players or, you know, maybe, maybe musicians. Uh, shout out to Andrew Huang, who I've seen do stuff like this. This, what we're doing today is I am reacting to and breaking down another reactor's uh, content. Now, I've spoken to Michael Bevaraji. We've met, had a ton of messages back and forth. He's a really cool guy. If you do not know his channel uh, or, or uh, any of his content, I highly recommend you go check it out. He's got some really cool stuff. He's got a lot of heartfelt uh, uh, breakdowns and reactions, man. Like, you can tell he really loves music and, and just art in general. So, I highly recommend you check out his channel. What I'm going to do is I want to go down and, and break down some of his uh, it's like maybe further explain some of the things that he's talking about um, and just add on top of it Like I think that he did a great job first of all Let me just say that he did a great job I just want to I think it'd be cool to get our personalities kind of meshed together now He knows I'm doing this we um, we speak we've spoken before um, I, I'm trying to figure out a way for us to do like dual reactions where like we could be both be reacting to the same thing at the same time I have not figured that out yet because like we live in completely different parts of the United States and Zoom, there would be some sort of like uh, like delay. That being said, I do want to figure it out. I am trying to figure it out. Uh, until then though, we have this and we're going to do it um, together. And I, and so I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, I've seen the, 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 the Little Mix React. I've actually seen both of these, Love on the Brain and Falling. Uh, both are insanely insane covers. Uh, so I'm looking to f forward to seeing what he has to say about them and I'm looking forward to seeing like if I can add any content or add any um, Just value to, to, to what he's saying because he's already done such a good job But let's see what we got uh, as always you could text me two different numbers if you have any requests If you want to check out the patreon if you want to learn a little bit more about the music production that I'm talking about in these terms um, You can check out the patreon for my music course and if you want to subscribe hit that subscribe button also hit the subscribe button on, on Beverage channel Cheers. <laughs> It's such a different vibe. For sure. So I'm going to agree with that. It is a totally different vibe. I also, I personally, as an artist myself, when I do covers, I don't know why I can never actually do it as the original song. I always have to make it my own. Some people hate that though about my, my, my covers is like, they're like, that's not the original song. Well, that's not the original melody. It's like, sorry. Um, but I, I agree. I like that they added it. I think it added a cool dynamic to it. Okay. I have to pause already because... The way, so I am incredibly familiar with this song, obviously. The way Harry sang this song was very soft rock ballad -y, which is right up his alley, obviously. And they have already turned it into kind of an R&B ballad, with the, especially the way Perry came in like that. And <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yeah, because she changed the melody bit. So she like, I think Harry goes, I'm in my bed. But she goes, I'm in my bed. Changing out the melody. I think three, two, da, da. Yeah, something like that, maybe. And there's no one to blame the and wandering Forget what I said. Who is this? There's no one I'm this is Jesse Orchard. Oh, I do want to say, actually, he did disclaim this when I first sent him the one that told him I was going to do this one. He did say that this is very early stages in his reaction breakdowns. So I do want to give that disclaimer. He's, he says that he's come a long way, and I agree with that statement. So just want to give that disclaimer out there. Okay. Whoa, whoa. This could be a long video. Okay. <laughs> Harry is also in just a couple of ranges in in his version of the song. They've hit yeah. What, eight different variations of notes at this point? 
This is unbelievable. I need to put some respect on her name because I need to figure out if that's Jade or Jesse. What am I now? What am I now? What if I'm so I could tell you that I've learned finally after all this time that that was not Jesse, that was Jade, and that right there is Leanne. I've I've taken time. I have learned. You'd be very proud. I'm sure he knows by now too, though. It could have been their song. I agree with that statement. That's the part that I saw in the clip. See, that's really cool because they, they did that. They actually are referencing what they did earlier and now bringing it back. So it's almost like they gave a little sneak peek in the very, very beginning intro. You say you wow. And you miss me too. Hi, Leanne. Dude, hold up a sec. Listen to that that melody right there. How she's dipping into those notes. It's like it's like you have a chocolate covered strawberry and you're dipping the, 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 into the strawberry into the note because it's so like she's perfectly getting it and it comes out perfect, like perfectly molded. It's crazy. And the is dipping the strawberry. Mm. Crazy. Do you hear that vibrato? What's so crazy is that lyric specifically is so personal to Harry. Beachwood Cafe is obviously a specific experience that he pulled from his past. And Perry is able to sing that as if she lived it. That's not easy. So I'm going to add on to that. I agree. And one of the things that I actually find as an artist, one of the hardest things to do personally is actually write personally like that. I think that it's, it, it's so easy to get caught up in the idea of, wanting to write a hit that everybody can relate to. But the crazy thing is when you actually, it's, it's, it's this, the world is so funny in the sense of like, you try to write this generic thing where everybody can relate, nobody ends up relating because it's too generic. But when you say, oh, at the Beachwood Cafe, I don't even know where the Beachwood Cafe is. I couldn't even tell you if it's in California or if it's in, 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 in England. You know what I mean? I have no clue. But the fact that it's so personal, people relate to that and people want to hear that personal stuff, which I think is so, it's such a hard thing to do as, a, as an artist is to break out of that, that, the idea of trying to just be general so everybody can relate and instead be a little bit more um, uh, oh, uh, personal and, and specific. And like Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift are, are killer at that. They give such specific, especially Ed Sheeran, such specific, specific references. Um, and I think that that's really, really cool. I love a belt over And they can all do it. Nice. Oh, you hear that that sh that chromatic tone right there? And they can all do it. Right here. That's sweet. Nice layered vocals. Wow. I have, I have to say, I haven't heard this version in a long time, so it's cool to come back and hear it. Impossible. Do you hear the higher registered harmonies? Crazy. The vocal agility. <sighs> so that's true. So the crazy thing about that is like, 
vocal agility can mean a couple different things. Vocal agility in the sense of like the way that they're, they're jumping up and down with these notes, like going from a low note to a high note to a low note to a high note. Like it's insane. Not only that though, they're incredible vocalists in the sense of vocal agility in the sense of when they play live. You ever seen a live performance they run around the stage doing all these dances and stuff and saying on pitch, try, try singing a note like, like any note, like do and doing jumping jacks or running it back and forth. Like it's hard, man. It's stinking hard. Oh, Mixed really well. I'm pretty sure this is Jesse, and the other girl was Jade, the the other one who was just that doing is the true. crazy vocal acrobats. Oh, sick mashup though. I, f I haven't seen this in a while, so it's pretty cool. To Go see ahead, Jesse. I like that the guitarist is getting into it. Go ahead, Leah. I'm curious if they arrange their own stuff or somebody arranges it for them. Like, where did they, who came up with the, ba, 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 da, you know, like, oh, then, oh, let me throw, them. what if I'm like on top of, like, where did they come from? And it went parry, yes. That's cool that they uh, they referenced that intro throughout the whole song. They didn't just do it once. I actually really like that. Oh, almost Christmas ending right there with those chromatics right there. Arpeggio. I don't know if you can see, but I <laughs> have very real goosebumps. They turned that song into a full R&B ballad. Yeah, for sure. I need that exact version on my phone that's such a good point like i don't know why bbc doesn't release these as releases they totally like they should have a bbc radio playlist on spotify and app music i don't know Wait why they second. don't just strip the audio and the video and, and put it put it to, put it on there it's crazy i was getting a little emotional at one point probably halfway during the song just because the song is so beautiful and i feel like i feel like everyone can take something from it just based on what they've been through that's the beautiful part of writing and the hard part of writing songs is creating something that people can relate to and people even if it's not like you didn't write like you watching this you didn't write Harry Styles song neither did they but they created it and put it in this perspective where like you relate to the song even if you didn't write it and that's that that's the beauty of songwriting I don't know anyone who's ever been at a point in their life where they didn't feel like they had some kind of moral flaw that they needed to work on. Nobody's perfect. And uh, I feel like Harry's speaking to a lot of that in, in this song. And he's, he's just trying to be a man that he can face at some point. And these women saying that, like, they were in those shoes. And it was hitting me really hard. And I was getting caught up in it. And then they switched it and put their own version on it. And... Made it like a whole different song. That yeah, I, the cool thing about the mashup is it totally refo Like, not that you lost focus at all, but it pulls you in even more. Because, like, what are they doing? This is totally different. Wow, this is... And then and then for them to kill it like that, do such a good job, it's like, wow, that was crazy, right? That I need a full, like, version like on you. iTunes. <laughs> and got completely taken into another world by that. So, before this video turns into 30 minutes, uh -huh. I'm going to get to the Love on the Brain cover. And you got me like what you So the wild part is, I believe this video is, is way older. Um, so that being said, like, the fact that, like, their vocals are still sound this good. I mean, even the first three seconds that we've seen, like, it's pretty wild how good their, their voices are. On a reverb on those vocals. So let me just talk about that. Like, so it's not only is she singing that that nice high note, but then they end it with that little upper. Then da ha, like when you're already up there that high, like that's hard to do. And then hit it perfectly on keys. Another thing. 
Okay. Okay, Jade. That's the exact part I was waiting for. Oh, Harmony's a killer, man. Dude, Jade has such a super distinct voice, man. Just to get close to you, can we burn something, babe? I run for miles just to get a taste. Just to get a what? Just to get a taste. Must be love on the brain. Dude, Perry, her vo bullet, you could say, you could say what's up, the bullet, he's barking upstairs at the mailman. Her voice is wild because, like, if you didn't, like, like if you just heard her voice, you would not picture it to come out of this like twenty-five-year-old, like skinny European girl. Like, no, no, that's that's a compliment in a way. Like, it's just like it's so full and so big. Like, it does. It's the same as Celine Dion, honestly. Like, I've heard a lot of comparisons between her and her voice, the two voices. Um, it's like, wh where does that voice come from? Like, it just, it's insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. So powerful. So it sounds like there's some sort of echo. Is that in the original or is that something that I'm hearing? Oh, so right there, listen to this. So she broke that note in two, but I think it would have been actually cool if she where she slid up that would have been sweet but obviously she didn't she chose to do it nothing else, but that's still crazy good i like the six eight feel to this one two three one or maybe three four one more time jesse I'm this fat one fly just to get close to you. Yeah. They can all do these runs. All four of them. Can I don't think you guys realize how hard it is to do those runs. And, and then to do them live, not only, they're not in the studio, they're live. It's crazy. Hit these runs. It's really crazy. These runs and these riffs that just go straight to my heart. And can I talk about Jesse's lower range for a second? Because I'm a sucker for a great lower range. And she has a hell of a lower range. Just to get close to you. Just to get close. Wow, it's hard just to get a Did you hear all the vibratos that were going on? It's crazy. Yeah, Jane. <laughs> oh, Perry. <laughs> These riffs are wild. You forget that it's only an acoustic version, that there's only an acoustic guitar in it. It's crazy, actually. Come on, that's crazy. Yes, queen. <laughs> that's crazy. Cool stuff, man. Shout out to Bev Raji. Really, really great reactor. Check out his channel. Uh, I look forward to doing more stuff with him. So stay tuned for that and more stuff to come. I just got to figure out how to do it. We can do it together. We're going to figure it out. Don't worry. But I hope you guys are enjoying the content. As always, you can text me two different numbers if you have any requests. If you want to learn more about the, the stuff I'm talking about, if you didn't fully understand it, the Patreon, we have the, uh, the music production uh, uh tier i guess you would call it and if you want to check out my music it means so much to me and if you hit that subscribe button it means so much to me also thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video god bless have a great rest of today and peace out